Hey guys, well I got the cart in front of the horse a little bit uh, on this one, putting this part on first, but actually before we did that part, we did this other part, the one that's in back, and then we put this part on. But anyway, I got this video, so uh, go ahead and watch, I hope you enjoy it. On the Case 830, we're getting to where we're going to start putting things back together, and the first step of that is getting this sump screen put back on. So the old screen was brass and it was tore up and broke, which means it could just suck any old junk out of the bottom of the transmission, pull it up through the hydraulic pump and destroy it. <laughs> and we tried soldering back on there like the original was, but we just couldn't get it to work, could we, Con? No. No, you can't get it to solder. It's very difficult. So They must have some special jig when they solder. Well, Probably they, using low temperature lead. They use the brass screen and brass stuff screen, like that. Lead. This is stainless. So we, we sourced the sheet of stainless steel with the same count. 30 so count. The same filtration and then uh, I made a hem this is the first attempt right as you put this screen in the brake you make an angle bend there right and then you do the reverse angle bend uh-huh so that it makes a Z shape and then you weave those two into each other as you wrap it around right so it's one hug in the other so they're they're hooked in there so they're latched they are they're latched and you make it the right size so that it's tight. so it fits yeah, yeah. tight and then I dinked it down with a hammer. That's pretty good. I mean, honestly, you could probably just throw it on the tractor. I don't know, I think if it started sucking hard, it, it could pull that apart. Yeah, you know, the cutout's only right there. So we got plenty of there Right, so there. we won't disrupt the flow. Yeah. And also, on the first attempt, I didn't do a hem on the edges, but on this one, I hemmed the edges first. Oh, neato. So right there where the clamps go is double double layer of mesh and that made it a lot more rigid yeah yeah so this is this should last a long time i, don't know, I think know. it'll last as long as the first one that brass one was well it was disintegrating <laughs> six years we got a rip in it it was disintegrating so yeah i think it probably the stuff we're cleaning out as transmission is just an awful gooey nasty crap so we're gonna put these on really tight punch them i might even just zap them with the mig welder uh-huh because this i can they're stainless steel also so they shouldn't do anything i think we're good to go also there's there's casting rods right there. I, I lined my hem right up with one of those. Yeah. Took my little dinky hammer and... Tapped it in tight. Tapped it in so that, you know, that's locking. And then that goes back on here where the PTO clutch is. And it bolts on here and that's the sump for the pump. That winds up over here and it sumps up through here. And I've cleaned this thing all out and I've been spraying it with uh, brake clean and all kinds of stuff to get the nasty gooey. I think the additive separated out and just made a gummy gooey mess. So how does that thing work? Uh, very stiff. Yeah. I've used lighter versions of these. Use them to keep, uh, you know, boots and stuff on steering racks and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what I use it for. Because I was also this sick of using spinny hose clamps. Yeah. I don't like that. But Connor much. doesn't like the hose clamps. No, I've seen too many of those go bad. I think I'm going to put it in the vise next to you. Give it a good rip. I bought four of them so I can mess up twice. Yeah, these ones aren't easy to use. It's not moving. No. There must be a tool to tighten them down. I'm trying to think of what though, like a banding crimper. Yeah. Huh. Why did you get the lighter duty ones? I think we just put hose clamps on it. Well, I'm not ready to give up yet. I am. <laughs> oh, you're getting it tight now. Oh yeah, you got her now. No, it's ruining my my screen. Twisting it. Not careful. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure I like these heavy duty ones. I think I think of the lighter duty ones that squeeze tighter. I have to go down to the auto parts store and get them. You know? These don't have much squeeze. They're not forming around it like I want it to. No, they're not you know, so they're not gonna be tight. I want it to form around it. Okay, so we're gonna ditch this idea. Yeah, maybe either get lighter duty ones or re use regular hose clamps. Regular hose clamps. Uh. Just suck it up, buttercup. Can I weld them too? What do you want to weld on them? So they don't ever back off. They ain't gonna back off. Well, use some thread sealer on them then. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Did we find the compromise? Yeah, thread sealer. <sighs> yeah, so we're gonna use these hose clamps because you know what? They're good enough to drop down a 400 foot well holding a well pump. Well, I guess Which costs just about the same price job as one of these <laughs> hydraulic pumps. Oh, fine. Compromise, I guess. Okay, but I'm putting the nut right on my seam. The question is, is it going to fit in there and not hit anything? Mm, I don't know. That could be an issue. Hit the bull gear? Yeah. No, if you point it up, it won't hit nothing. That's the best orientation. That points, goes them, up. points yeah. them right into the middle. Okay. So there's nothing in the way. Hard part's getting a sticker off. 
So we're thinking, we're thinking that if you have a bad screen and that pump, you could have a bad pump. 10 minutes after you put the new pump on, it sucks up a bunch of junk because the screen's bad and you're gonna have a bad pump all over again. And the pumps are what, 1600 bucks rebuilt? Yeah. Now, if I understand it correctly, the only time the screen really sucks up stuff is when you're adding fluid from the transmission to into the, the hydraulic system. So anytime you go on to an implement. This pipe here is inside the transmission. It mounts up top where these two bolts are and it's the return from the filter. But it winds up poking right in here and that's where it lives, yes. like that. So it basically shoots filtered oil right back in. Correct. No middle clamp? Why not? Yeah, it's, it's deforming it. See, it already put a bend in it. Oh, okay. So we're gonna avoid that. I trust that. You trust your hem? I trust the hem. And the hem's locked on both edges, so it's not gonna peel apart from there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. Yep, I, good. I think it's good to go. Okay. We could put this on, can't we? Let's get the thing on. That's what we're gonna do. Torque wrench, eh? It seems tight. I know it does. I'm trying to set them at like 27 foot pounds. That's like 25 foot pounds. That's good. Yep. All right, now you can wheel it over there and get her stuck in place. Yeah, you trust that gasket to hold the other? Yeah. Well, you made it. Of course I trust it. <laughs> well, you made it. <laughs> no, you made it. Well, I did make part of it. Yeah, it's a homemade gasket. I don't know if it's, gonna, it's not gonna stay there. What are we gonna do? It's just, oh, that's sand. It's just filler. Ooh, some sludge. More sludge. Oh man, I tell you what, there doesn't seem to be an end to it. This is where one of those gantry things would be cool. Yeah, wouldn't it be great? Saddle over the whole thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, can't have every tool in the world. I know. Dang. Okay, ready? Put her down gentle. So gentle. I'm... All right, come on. Let's, uh, a little more, a little more, a little more. A little more, a little more. Get close, and we'll bring it in. Okay, good. We gotta line up these PTO forks too. Yes. It should be kind of easy. Uh, Actually, yeah. Once it gets on that one shaft, the upper stays down. We're gonna have to put down a little bit more. Oh. Be careful! I'm getting a little jerky here. Can't turn the motor. Can't turn the motor. Turn the motor. motor. Pop it in. No. Okay. Still ain't going. Nope. Got it. It's oh. in. Yeah, it lines right up. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it nice when things pop together? It is, except for I don't have the bolt holes lined up perfect yet. So you're gonna bring it up a little bit. Do I don't that. know if it's gotta go up. Maybe just a hair. Yeah. Oh, another hair. Good. I got that one. Now, if you get one of them, you could probably use the cranky thing to line the other one up. Pivot on it, you know? Oh, I think it's right there.
Still works? Still works. Okay, we're heroes then. So like this uh, sump return tube that comes back from the filter, the filter sits in the plate that sits on top of this whole transmission set. Yeah. Anyway, this and this guy just goes down in here, see if I'm getting it right, and then it plugs into the pickup in the sump like that, and then it bolts there. That's where it sits. And I, ooh, that's, by the time I bolt that on there, there's going to be a little spring tension. See what yeah. it does? That uh, should put it away from the bull gear, though. That's where it lives, Con. So I'm going to bolt that in there and torque it down. There's going to be a little spring on it. Maybe that it has that spring on there so that it pushes the washer tight against it, you know, so it seals it up. To use in this uh, case of Matic. There's a case of Matic. Still not sure what to use in it. Dextron Classic. Dextron Classic? Yeah, Classic. Well, it's supposed to be Dextron A. Type A fluid. It was the first transmission fluid in the world, I think. <laughs> it's 10 weight oil. 10 weight oil. You can't find that either. Chin modifiers. You gotta be careful though, too, because you know the organic clutches get eaten up by other wrong oils. Organic. Yeah, these are the old organic clutches. Like they're vegan or something? <laughs> no, they're not vegan clutches. Gosh. All right, so that's the oil fill right there. The pump goes here in this giant hole. And this is the cap. And it's got the dipstick on it right there. It tells you high and low, H and L. And it's also got magnets. So I got that all cleaned up and put back on. Well, guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, we finally got that PTO unit on there. Even have the pump put in and stuff like that. And we're actually getting ready to clean this thing up and think about painting. But anyway, like, subscribe, and share this video, and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.